Okay, circle the correct answer for each of the following statements. 9 to the power half is equal to... Now, when you've got power to a negative, right, we write it as 1 over th that number, but we change the power to a positive, okay? So a negative power changes to a positive, but you write it as 1 over. And then, of course, power half, fractional powers, you need to understand they're talking about roots, and because it's a power half, it's the square root of 9 in that case. The square root of 9 is 3, so you get 1 third. This one then, 8 to the power 2 thirds, is equal to what? Well, it's not negative this time, so we don't have to worry about writing it as 1 over, right? But it's 2 thirds. Now, I can't really deal with it when it's 2 thirds, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it as 1 third, okay? That's, I can deal with 1 third, but then take the 2 outside, right? So it's a power outside of a bracket. Okay, now that's the same as that, practically, because when you've got this here, you times these powers together, right? And you get two thirds. Now, <coughs> excuse me, now in that bracket, you've got power third. Remember I said it was roots? And if it's a third, it's the cube root of eight. Okay? And the cube root of eight, you've got to think, okay, what are my times by itself and by itself again? Of course, it's going to be two, isn't it? It's going to be two in there squared and then that equals 4.